Well, good morning, guys. It's Sunday. It's 7.15. I'm just finishing up my breakfast, and then we're going to go inside and get our day started here at the church. Um, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are excited for a legit vlog today. I'm going to try to bring you guys along to just what I have to do this morning. So, uh, yeah, let's do it together. Let's get ready to go. We're not muted. You can make play a mean guitar. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, Danny. How long have you been serving at Cowie? 
Get your little microphone there. I honestly You don't. gotta hold it. I gotta hold it. Yeah. yeah. I honestly don't remember. It's been a long time. I'm trying to think. It's been at least seven years. I That's a long probably time. Probably eight. Coming up on eight. Maybe even nine, somewhere in there. And when we started, we just had this little guy. Yep, that was the beginning. And we started out with two cameras. Which that, are both Sony PTZs. And then I still use those. I got fancy and tried to hook my cell phone up to be another camera and use that for a few angles. And then people started watching. And so we started spending money. Started spending money. And now we've got a pretty cool setup. Yeah, so this is weird. People aren't gonna, this is probably, the, we're probably the only church that's doing this, probably not at the same time, I don't know. So we've got this switcher, but we ran out of inputs. Um, so what we did is we took this mini switcher and came out of it. So that's this it's not TV. On right now. Yeah, well, the second angle is off because it's a, it's a battery pack, but it's the yeah. drum cam and the keys cam are run off of this switcher into one input on the A10, on the big A10. And that way we can get a little bit more channels um, because before we were doing lower thirds just on a, um, like a out of pro presenter on basically one channel. And so we were keying out blacks. And then because we have this um, enclosure, which has a, what's it called? Deck link duo. The deck link duo, yeah, the, the card. We wanted to do it the right way. So we started doing that. So we're getting like more crisp lower thirds, but because of doing that and taking these two channels on the big switcher, we moved two channels to one channel. So it's a whole thing. I think that makes sense the way we explained it. But so we have a total of how many cameras? One, two, three. Do we have seven cameras mm -hmm. total? So we have seven cameras, then we have a full screen projector, like a like a pro presenter output screen, full size. Yeah. And then we have two channels of lower thirds. One's the key and one's the fill, I guess. At a pro presenter. And uh, we're operating on a uh, Sunday morning. Sunday basically. morning show up. You have no idea what's going on until you show up in the morning. That's kind of true. Who you have working? What? How many people you're going to have that day? Any camera operators or not? So. Yeah. Sometimes it's ten minutes before service starts. It's kind of the the nature of smaller churches. And I said in my first video that we're like a small a small church. And then I was like, well, we're small to medium, I guess. But I think it's until you get into sure. the big big churches, <clears throat> do you get these? You know. 30 man AV teams. We're just not going to have that. Well, plus our session. infrastructure too. We're meeting in a room that used to be a gym that yeah. doesn't have a lot of stuff that you could do. You know, the ceiling's low, yeah. a lot of things. You could do a lot more stuff if you had a different location. Yeah, I so think we're, we're, for what we have to work with, we're doing pretty awesome. Yeah, we're doing good with what we have. One cool thing we do that some of you are probably doing is all of our pro presenter stuff is multi tracks integration with playback. And so we use. Um, MIDI commands to do all of our lyric changes and slide changes and then we also do light key and we use MIDI to change our um, lighting cues as well. So that's something that was pretty cool that takes some stress off of the uh, volunteers because it's not really on them and it also takes stress off of the band because we know that there's not going to be any operator failure when it comes to lyric changes because we're relying on that back screen right there for our chords and our lyrics, so. And on that every once in a blue moon Sunday where you have two people to show up to do four people's jobs, you can actually kind of sort of do it. Yeah, you can still do it because you're, you're not really having to do too much. And pro presenter, you don't really have to have somebody operating pro presenter until the sermon because everything's changing for you, basically. So it's pretty pretty sweet setup, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Sick. All right, so here we have Tyler. Tyler, how long have you been serving here uh, on the AV team? Since 2019. And what do you do typically on a Sunday? <clears throat> so recently I've been running the uh, the portable camera, going around getting some different oh, shots. Yeah, let's look at that. We haven't shown that yet. Let's get over here and sneak a peek at that. So Tyler, I'll let you walk us through the setup here. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, so it's kind of like, it's not what you would call ideal. We've got a Sony. Is this a 6300? Show me the top of that. Yep. Yeah, this is 6300. And then this is like a, a Zune brand, I think, gimbal. And so you kind of just end up holding this, don't you? Yeah, well, <clears throat> last week we uh, kind of rigged it up to where it held right here during service. Yeah. But And then we recently got an app that has a tally light where we can tell whenever we're on screen. So I kind of rigged that to where I could see that as well. So 
it's definitely something you put together right before service. And on the cheap. For this sure. This whole setup is probably like legitimately less than $1,000, not including the wireless pack, but you can get some links to all this stuff. The gimbal is probably 300 bucks. I mean, the Hollyland obviously is what it is, but these cameras, you can get these for like 500 bucks or less, and they actually see really well in the dark. So if you're a contemporary church, if you're a contemporary church and you're doing low light stuff, the Sony A6300, 6400, and then obviously A7s are actually really, really good in low light. So, not like this GoPro that probably looks terrible in low light. Well, what I'm seeing looks pretty good. What I'm seeing looks pretty good. Sick. Hey, my name's Clark. Welcome to Cribs. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm going to get some coffee really fast first. Got the full coffee set up. Oh, yeah. Water. Got to have the coffee rig. Got all the flavors. Gotta have a coffee ring. Sup? You wanna be on YouTube? You're on YouTube. Oh yeah, these are some. These are new too. So we just put our program feed on the TVs for folks in the back that can't see during preaching and stuff. So that's what that is. So this, a lot of you guys have probably seen the super expensive drum enclosures. Um, this is not one of those. We copied an online. I can link it. We copied, this guy had made a, uh, like a, I forget what you call that, but basically like a plan, a blueprint for these drum enclosures. And we built this one for like less than $3,000. And you know, if you go to buy one, they're gonna be like five, ten thousand $10,000 for one of these. Um, so yeah, let's go inside, let's see. So we've just got this, it's probably so dark on the GoPro that you can't see, but. Very dark. Let's see if you can sneak in here with me. So we've got this door, and then if you go inside, I just coated everything in this um, foam from Amazon. I'll turn the fan on if you get once you get in here, or you can just kind of stay there. But these drums that we have, we've had for a long time, and we were running electronic drums, but you just don't get the realistic sound of cymbals. It's not even the drum sound, it's the cymbal sound. So we wanted to go back to acoustic, but this is obviously a pretty small room, so we needed to build a drum enclosure. So we set out to do it, and uh, built it for again like less than three thousand bucks um i got these lights off of amazon i think that uh some of you may know daniel bernard he's a drummer on youtube he recommended these lights and so i got those and then i put them on just a remote switch that i can turn off and on um we've got dream bliss dream contact on the ride and the Vintage Bliss over here. This is my favorite one. This is a 20 inch Vintage Bl uh, Bliss Crash. It was really affordable and it sounds incredible. Um, 19 inch Bliss Crash Ride and then a 22 inch Contact Ride that's like a heavy ride. Then I think these are 14 inch ZBT, just cheap Zildjian ZBTs. Um, we got a Ludwig, I wanna say it, it's, you guys will have to correct me, it's either Versalite or Acrolite, I can't remember, but a metal six and a half by 14. And then I think that's a maybe a 10 by 14. And then a maybe, I don't know, 16, I don't remember. How, I think this is a 16, but I don't remember the depth on this one. Um, but these are like a, a pretty inexpensive Tama, it says Superstar is what the shells are. And then this is, like I said, a Ludwig. Um, then we're using Audix D2 and a D4 on the toms, and an I5 on the snare top, and then I've got a 57, I believe. Yeah, I've got a 57 on the snare bottom. Got an I5 on the hi-hat, we don't really use that. And then the Audix condensers, I don't remember the names of, uh, of those, but I've got them kind of in like an XY pattern, which is working really well for in this tiny little room. And then you'll see these triggers, but they're not triggering sounds on all of the drums. So you see here and there and there. They're just triggering gates um, because again, this is a tiny little room and so you get a lot of bleed into the, the microphones. So we're using gates there. This is playback off of my MacBook. This is just a, it's like an older one. It's a 21 model M1. It's like the base M1 too. And I mean, this thing is still just running like, a, like an absolute champ. Um, this is the drummer's in-ears. I have him hardlined through this little folio old mixer we had and it works great. Um, because all of our I.O. is right here behind the drum enclosure. Um, oh, here's my, this, our tracks rig is in this. 
you guys, it's going to be hard to show you, but it's a Scarlet 18i20. So we have the option to run lots of tracks. Right now we run click and guide, a stereo tracks, and then we have a pad. We have the pad on a separate um, fader, but we're just, we're not using a ton of tracks right now because we've got a lot of musicians. Um, but we have in the past ran as many as, you know, four stereo channels of tracks. So that's the drum enclosure. I'll link that, all that stuff. Um, uh, get that door closed. Let's go see Steve. You want to? <coughs> so this is Sounds good. We've got the JBL. I'll have to get the number. It's the XRX SRX835 on the top. And then I think it's like 828 is the subs. I can't remember. They're powered. We just got these fairly recently. And I mean, they sound absolutely incredible. We really love them. Oh, we didn't show them the racks over here. I'll try to turn my flashlight on on my phone. It's a little dark. So here, can you see that at all? Yeah. S16 or S32 and then an S16 right under that. Um, we've got some ears and amps are for the center channel and for the front fills. Um, because like I said, the subs and the tops are powered. Then there's our in-ears. We've got them through the uh, combiners. We've got like, I don't remember. We've got a lot of channels of ears. Um, but anyway, pretty sweet setup. You can ask questions in the uh, comments if you need to. This position this Sunday is bass, so this is his talk back. And uh, a way to do the talk back on the cheap is just get a microphone. Like this one is a E816 and it has a switch on it. So he doesn't, he can turn the switch on and off. Um, so he's our MD today. We don't really do a lot of MD to be honest. Our click and guide give us a lot. Um, so that's that station. Here's my station. We're using the Sennheiser 835 capsules. Um, I forget the, I should know this, but I don't remember what the wireless is. It's the kind of the, the sure equivalent to, or it's the um, Sennheiser equivalent to the, oh, what is that sure? I can't remember all this stuff. You guys are gonna have to bear with me and, and let me put in some captions and stuff for all these products I can't remember the names of. Um, but anyway. I run wireless guitar through a Shure unit um, just for my acoustic setup. And then I'll put my iPad here to do my ears. I wish he was here and I'd let him show show you this, but this is our lead guitar player's setup. And uh, it's pretty sweet, as you can see. Here, I'll move this cable. Um, so he's running, his main sound is Stereo Dream, which sounds incredible. Pretty sweet setup. And then here is Steve. Steve, do you have a second to show us your rig? Let me give him the microphone here. You cool with that? Sure. sure. I'll give you this microphone. Yeah. You want to hold it? You don't have to. What do we do? So we just swapped. So this is Steve. How you doing? He has been our keys player for, I don't know how long now, probably eight for years. Pretty much forever. It seems. A long time. He's super faithful. He serves every week. I mean, he, he takes as many Sundays off a year as I take a year and I work here. And that's probably what, two at the most? Yeah. One of them I force him to take after Christmas. <laughs> I make everybody take a week off. But anyway, so he just swapped to the Nord and this is his Nord. We had him, what, what was the, what's the, the piano we own? A motif? Uh, M, yeah, uh, Yamaha MOXF8. Yeah, so that's what the church owns and it is great. But you just recently went to the stage four yeah. And you're pretty impressed. Uh, it's it, it's it's the best. It's it's designed for live worship. Um, you can set each program to where you go from song to song. Yeah. It'll take. You get in here and see this. You can actually. So this is like song number one. <clears throat> He's got them labeled. Yeah, you can go in here like uh, to the main part of the song. You can go to the chorus. You can change scenes, bring synth in, and then you can move on to your next song and the organ will come in. Uh, it, it's, it's so versatile, it's, it's just totally amazing. Yeah, this is so sick. Also, this whole thing Steve built himself, so he's got like an interface in here, he's got an amplifier for speakers that are actually housed in this um, case, which is pretty sweet, so he can play it like it's an acoustic piano. Obviously, it's not an acoustic piano. Um, and then this is his ears rig, so it's just a sound device's headphone amp, basically, and that's how he's getting his in-ears. But yeah, 
Super sick setup. It, 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 oh, it's totally show them this awesome. ventilator pedal too. Oh uh, yeah, the ventilator pedal. This is. Uh, so this is for the organ. Yeah. It it, it simulates an actual cabinet uh, rotor speaker, and it does. Uh, and is this pedal beside it like how you yeah. actuate the, the speed of that or? Th this is actually actually bring, uh, the organ level and drive. That's a level. Here. Okay. Yeah, I can that's bring it down. But you can probably make it. Yeah. Lots of things. You can you can set it to do anything. <laughs> oh, another thing that's cool that Steve did is the old foot pedals off of this shell he wired to work so like the old sustain pedal that would have worked on the real piano is the sustain pedal for the digital piano right which right. is something i've never seen yeah, before it's, you can it's super sick yeah. how did you do that can you explain I, I that just, in I layman's just, terms i just added some switches uh that just little micro switches that work off the main main actual pedals and just uh, wired them up super sick pedal so that's so sick yeah so cool. When so, I come and set up, I only have to plug in a few wires. We're ready to go. So if you guys want a more extensive, in-depth look at Steve's keys rig, we may can make that happen. I'll 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 bribe him somehow. But we can do that. That's the quick version. So yeah. well, sick. Thanks, Steve. You're Thanks welcome. Thanks for talking sure. to us. Oh, here comes my wife. Okay, we're gonna end this clip right here. But stay tuned. We've got more to come.